is his signature. It's a little hard to see. I can, I got the light just right here, so, but if you stand here, you will see his signature on the painting. I don't know why he put it there. He didn't know you were supposed to put it here. If he had asked me, I would have said, no, it has to go here. Everyone who looked down there, don't put it up there. I think he could call his own shots, though. I, you know, when you're on the top, you can do that. This is a painting. He liked to do apostles. He, he particularly liked to do Paul. But he liked to do the apostles. He wanted to do all 12, but he couldn't get the uh, commission. And he, he had to eat. But uh, he did do two of Bartholomew. Uh, this is his more famous one. And so it's St. Bartholomew. Unless you're reading the Gospel of John. In the Gospel of John, chapter 1, his name is Nathaniel. Well, that's okay. If you think about it, Peter had about three names. Peter, Simon, Cephas, okay? Uh, Thomas was called Didymus, a twin. Uh, there were a lot of different names, okay? Um, but in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, this is Bartholomew. So that's what we have on the painting. I cannot tell you what he's thinking. What? is on his mind. Or what his expression is, actually, except it's important. Okay, He's not looking at us. He's looking away because he has to give his attention to whatever he's thinking about. It's pretty important. He's uh, seated on his own mantle here, some kind of a chair. Uh, like in the Renaissance, so many Renaissance, they're not selling paint. You look over somebody's shoulder and you're looking outdoors. You look at it. Next time you're looking at paintings, notice that there's a lot of outdoor stuff. So this isn't a portrait. This is a little kind of a remembrance of Bartholomew here. He's, whatever it is, it's important. I can't even say he's worried. That's up to you to say. That's up to you. He did use impasto. That's where you kind of pile paint on. Well, he, he didn't do like the Impressionists. They would use their thumb and put on gluck, lots of it. This is oil, you know, pretty, fairly thin oil paint. But he put a lot of it on the forehead to try to get that expression. And the expression is, you know, this, this can't wait. I, gotta th I've got, I need time right now to think about this. And he's thinking about it. But Rembrandt's kind of given us some competition here between the face and the... If you look at the face, you look at the, down at the hand. Oh, he's got a cuff. He's holding a knife. Oh, but there's his expression again, and he, he's really bothering him. There's light here. Light seems to be coming from here, just one source. And there's his hand again. And so we're going back and forth wondering what's going on. Well, let me tell you who Bartholomew was. <clears throat> it might make, we might get some indication of what it is. Um, artists never wrote on the back of their paintings and said, this is a story of a man who just got, uh, you know, told he was going to be killed or uh, told he had to, you know, move to Fresno or, you know. And, and so it, there, we have nothing to go on except what you see. People in the days of the, the paintings were made never had any questions. They, they knew what all the pen ones were about, okay? So, um, Nathaniel and Bartholomew, it says, it doesn't say in the Gospels what happened to each of the apostles. Um, we're, we're pretty sure we know what happened to some of them. But there was a book called The, the Golden Legend, and the word legend came from legenda, which is Latin. It doesn't mean a legend, like Oh, somebody, it, it means, um, it's kind of like a bibliography. It's a list of saints. 